Ah, uh, good morning everyone. Hope you're all good and dandy. It's a lovely day today. Don't know what it is. Oh, it's a Saturday. Of course I know what it is. Play Saturday. <clears throat> Bloody five to eight. I've been out here for about an hour now. Um, just tending to me various different plants. Look, I've got my aloe veras and all that. Growing nicely. Um, trying to get them just to come along. This one's coming along quite well. That one's starting to sprout up quite well as well. Quite pleased with that. Little chat on the radio. Well, I haven't found anyone to chat to. Cup of coffee. Chilling out for a bit, but I've got a little bit of stuff to do in the camper van today, so should we go and have a look and see what we can do? I've got a, fit, um, a fan sensor in the radiator because the fan don't work at the moment. So I've got here a new sensor, burn it. Uh, Fitz Tolbert Express Fiat Decato Peugeot J5 Citroen C25 radiator fan switch. Got it from Coastal, Coastal Motor Homes, good place to get bits and bobs for these campers. Um, yeah, I don't think it's common ground much it was, I think it's about eight quid or something. Like so, in here, we should have a switch, and this should be, I believe, um, I spoke to them on the phone actually, um, because I had a question about something else as well. And uh, he said to me, a new little washer there. He said to me, it's, uh, you can have two fans hooked up to this, and um, one will come on before the other. And I think it says on here, if it'll ever focus. Um, the, the degrees of which the fans will come on. Come on! Oh no, it is upside down. Um, oh, I can't bloody read it. Uh, 88 to 83 degrees. And then 92, 92 to 87. Well, that one's backwards. I don't know why that one's backwards. But anyway, you can have two fans hooked up to it, apparently. So, let's go and get some new little washer to put on there. Let's find a spanner what fits that. And if it fits this one, it should fit the old one. And it should hopefully be as simple as old one out, new one in, wire it up, start it up, and give it a test. I need that because I've got the MOT coming up soon and uh, I'm gutted, I've scratched my bloody uh, lenses on my sunglasses. I don't know how, but I've got scratches all over them now. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I've got the MOT coming up soon and I mean, I don't mind not having the fan working because I've, I've had many cars, I've drove for years with the fan not working and all I do is I remember that the fan don't work and if I get stuck in traffic, I put the heaters on you know, or, or something like that. Um, the fan works on the camper, but it's on a switch on the on the steering column. And there a lot of MOT places, you tell them that, I've been there in the past, you know, I've been there, I've said, the fan doesn't work automatically, it's on the switch on the steering column. All right, yeah, no problem. They do the MOT, they say, it overheated and boiled over, failed it. Oh, but I told you the fan was on the switch on the steering column. Oh, right. I would just got to be on automatic. That's a bastard. Um, some places don't care about that. The place where I normally go to get my cars MOT, he don't care. He don't give an uncle's monkey. I went there and I said, on one of them, I said, my fan don't work. He said, no, that's all right, we'll just turn it off. <laughs> some of them leave it running for the duration of the MOT, and if it overeats and boils over, they fail it. Um, and some of them, they, they, you know, whatever, some of them do turn it off. They have a look with it running, look around the engine, and then they turn it off and carry on with the rest of their MOT. Um, I don't know what this MOT place is going to be like where I'm going to take the camper because um, I couldn't find anywhere to MOT it around here. Nowhere would MOT it. They don't fit them in. Um, my normal place can't fit it in his MOT bay. So I found a place local. The one and only place local and they fit it in. But I don't know what they're like. I've never been there before. I don't know how strict they are. I don't know anything. So I'm literally, that's why I just thought, fuck it. I'll just put a new fan switch in. Hopefully that will fix the reason why the fan don't come on automatically. Obviously it's been a problem for a while because they put the fan on a steering column switch. <laughs> why they didn't just put a new fan switch in, I don't know. So there might be another problem somewhere. Um, but I'm going to have to find that out, aren't I? Um, but yeah, so that's that. That's the reason why I'm doing that. But also, I do want it to work automatically. I don't want it to always be on a switch. So my plan is... I'm going to get another fan, eventually, once it's gone through the MOT, I'm going to get another fan, I'm going to have two fans, and um, either, if this one is a dual switch, and it does work the way that I was explained it works, 
um, I just have both fans linked up to this switch and then one fan can come in and if it don't cool it enough it'll get a bit hotter and the other fan will come in and then it should cool it down if not I'll just have one fan linked up to the switch as normal and the switch that's on the steering column I'll link that up to a second fan so if the automatic fan comes in and I look at the temperature gauge and I'm in traffic and it's still getting hot I can just flick on the uh, second fan all by myself and that'll be that I've got several things it's kind of what I do I play around with engines more than anything else um, I've spent many many years playing with engines trying to get them to cool better because it's what I enjoy doing especially with these older engines and I'm gonna have to get a new radiator as well because the radiator is a little bit rusty so let's go and let's find a spanner that fits this and um, get going that's the table that come in the camper and it says on it that enjoy every moment well it certainly is not enjoying every moment at the moment <laughs> <laughs> Every moment, the bloody moment, because the whole car, whole camper van's rotten. So ever put that on there? No, we're not enjoying every moment. Thank you very much. But we will be once it's done. But not at the moment. But um, I'm going to sand this. Take that stupid little sticker off that's been put on quite badly. Um, I don't know why anybody would put that on like that. You'd think that they would have cut it straight. Um, but it's a nice table anyway. So I'm going to take the sticker off. Um, well, because there's little things like this I can do quite easy, so I'm going to take that sticker off, sand the whole table down so it's a fresh bare, bare wood, and then re-varnish it, and hopefully it will be somewhat of what it was previously, you know? A nice table to put in the camper once it's all done. Now, something tells me I'm not going to have a spanner. My spanners. That fits. It's going to be a, a rather large one. I may have to employ one of my adjustable spanners unless I've got one in here that fits I might have one in here that fits oh ho nearly what about this one this one fit <laughs> no no well, I didn't have a bloody spanner. What fits it? The biggest I was 25. I've got some other ones somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Anyway, so I've got an adjustable. Some of you nutters out there, you call these all kind of things, don't you? Shifters, crescent. You know, I've had people call it crescent. What the hell is that all about? It's a bloody... What it is, it's an adjustable spanner. <laughs> Made in Sweden, this particular one is. Very old as well, I imagine. It is an adjustable spanner. Invented by... Bacco. Really? Well, there you go. Anyway, let's go and fit this. <clears throat> well, that's the one we need down there. Somebody's done a bit of makeshift wiring. Messed it up, unfortunately. So we're going to have to take that apart. It's not going to be as easy as just connecting it together. There's a lot of gaze around. Do things like that. Let's take it off and have a look. Right, so as normal, the running theme with this camper at the moment is nothing is as it's supposed to be. So someone's chopped off the connectors that I was hoping would still be there, the little connectors. Someone's chopped them off and connected the switch and other rubbish wires. They made a bit of a mess of it. So now I haven't got any connectors. So my plan is I should have some RC connectors, those little C whatever they're called um, I should have some new ones but uh, oh, these, I've got some Dean's connectors um, I don't really want Dean's I want um, I don't know what I've done with them that's the trouble, I've got to try and find them they're amongst here somewhere anyway, my plan is to put another connector on here um, now as far as I, I can't find any um, diagrams or any information what tells you what one is what but I'm assuming that these two wires, the white and the black. Why does this camera not focus recently? Come on, man. I'm assuming that the white and the black are, um, you know, for for one fan, and the red extra red one is one for the uh, the second fan. The extra because you have two fans hooked up to this, um, and it's just like the sender wire for it. That's what I'm assuming because the old switch only has two and this is definitely the right switch 
because when I got it from Coastal, Coastal Motorhomes, I put the registration of the car in, of the camper in, and it said it fits the two litre petrol engine in the 1991 Talbot Express. So it's definitely the right switch. Um, but it did say that some of the old, uh, they were fitted with just a single f switch for a single fan. And it, he said to me on the phone that these switches, you can have two fans hooked up. One fan comes in at uh, lower degrees and the second fan comes in at a hotter degrees. Anyway, so that's why we've got an extra wire. So I'm assuming that these two are the ones I need to wire up the single fan that I've got. So my plan is to cut off this connector, solder on one of those RCC, whatever they are, I forget what they're called, the C25 or some crap like that, CX20 or CX50, solder on one of them, and then I'm going to go outside with me, with me a gas soldering iron and solder on the other end of the connector to the wires. And then I've got myself a new connector. Then I can just plug it in and put a bit of tape around it for waterproofness. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, that should work. Then when I get my second fan, all I've got to do is either get um, a female one of these connectors and put that on the wire, or chop this one off and stick another connector on it, or just solder it direct. Um, and obviously I'll have to put an earth to it or something. I don't really know how that works. Why it's only got one wire, but um, I'm assuming the power comes to it, and this is just a sender wire. For the second switch, I suppose. For the second fan, sorry, I suppose. Um, it just sends power up to the fan, and all I've got to do is put this will be the power. Got to put an earth to it, and it should work. That's what I reckon, anyway. So I'm going to put a new connector on here, and hopefully, it will be alright then. This bit's alright, it's just whether I'm going to be out because the wire is so short. They cut the wire so short on the loom, I can't get in there to do it. So hopefully, I'll be going to be able to solder that other connector on there alright. I'm not the best at soldering at the best of times, let alone in places like that. But we'll get it done. It's got to be done. I've noticed as well there's a great big bloody hole um, of rust. I put my finger through it. I'll show you later on. Um, on the wheel arch, on the drive passenger, on the driver's side. The passenger side's been welded, but the driver's side's got great big hole in the wheel arch. So I've got a funny feeling they're going to fail it on that, on the MOT, which is shit. I've made a decision. If it fails the MOT, I'm going to scrap it. If it passes the MOT, I'll fix the habitation area. And if it fails, I'll just have to just take the loss and say, see you later. Learn my lesson. You know, dreams like that can't happen with someone like me, you know. So, but we'll get it done. We'll get it done. So, let's, uh, let's get this done, shall we? Hopefully, hopefully I've got some of these connectors left. Oh, I knew I had a bag of them somewhere. And I found them. So I've got that on there. All you've got to do is put that heat shrink across. That's on there, lovely jubbly now. Um, put the heat shrink across. And, uh, like that. Get the lighter, melt that on. Then I've just got to go outside and try and solder that one on to the other wires. It's going to be a pain. I know it is, because they're so short. You can't get them, try and keep them still and all that. It's going to be a proper pain in the arse. But I'm going to do my best to get it done. And hopefully that should work. There's no reason why that shouldn't work then. Alright, so after a little bit of turning around, the finished, the finished product. I've got no little plug on there. I can disconnect that if need to be. I've got that one for the second fan. Let's see if it works. Hopefully it does. To disconnect the battery because I get getting sparks everywhere. That one good. Right. Oh, got to put water in it first. I was just going to start it up. I've got to put bloody water in it first. Let's go and get some water. She's watered up. Give it a go. Hopefully, we, um, hopefully it'll be all right and it'll work. And I won't have to fanny around too much because um, if this works or not, is it will determine whether I end up scrapping this or not. Let's turn that off. Put on that one.
So far, that's what's coming out of it. That ain't come on yet. It we ain't got nowhere near temperature yet. I think it still works on the switch. Yeah, fan still works on the switch. So at least I know I've still got a fan. We've got to let it get up to temperature. I'll bleed all that air out, all that water out. And we'll go from there, I think. Definitely getting hot now. temperature at the moment well, about 80 something getting up to 90 that fan should come on in a minute well let it uh thermostat should have opened by now so we'll let it run for a bit and see when it comes on i think see if these work yet because the heater never worked on this I didn't get to warm it up because there um, was gas in the old neighbour out next door. But at least we got it working anyway. I never did find out whether this worked. Let's turn it on. So we got hot air coming out of the old one. Uh... Oh. Should be coming out of there now. It's not. I don't even know if the little valve's working, to be honest. No way coming out of there. Now. Hmm. It's interesting. I wonder if the pipes come off. There's not a lot of air coming out there. I don't even know if that's warm or cold, to be honest. Oh, there we go. There is air coming out of there. Yeah. We've still got some temperature, so it should be quite warm. But I reckon we've got an issue with the little valve on the matrix, to be honest. Which is going to be a bit of a pain. It's going to be a bit of a pain to sort out. That's the least of my worries. I've got more things to worry about at the moment. So let's have a look at the one that was in it. I didn't get to warm it up enough to see if the fan will come on, but I'm going to have to go for a little drive around the block at some point. And uh, then we'll find out, because... What was happening was the, the old neighbour next door was laying in his bed because he's got a bad back, and uh, 
the fumes were going through his window and he come round and I just said, oh, sorry dude, turned it off. So um, can't go for a drive at the moment, um, but I might just wait, go and get drive it down to the MOT centre and see what happens. And then if it starts to overeat, I'll just say, look, replace the, I've done a bit of work on the radiator and the calling system. Uh, haven't had a chance to get it at the, right at the moment, it gets a bit hot, so can you just do the MOT but don't run it too long or something like that, I don't know. They're mechanics, I mean, they, know, they should know what they're doing anyway, shouldn't they? So, let's have a look at this one. This is the switch that come out of it, you can see where I cut the wires off. Don't know whether it would have been the original switch or not. It's, um... What does that say? This isn't it made in Luxembourg. I think that's E L T H, made in Luxembourg. The one I put in it was made in Italy. And uh, yeah, so that's what it was. Ninety-two degrees, I think it says on it. Right? Ninety-two to eighty-seven degrees. So it gets to ninety-two, it cools it down to eighty-seven. And uh, yeah, but it wasn't working. So hopefully that that switch is the problem, and that's the reason why the fan wasn't working, and there's no other underlying issue. But I can't see any other reason why the fan wouldn't be working. It works on the switch, which goes to the same wiring as you saw. So it should be, this is the problem, and it should work as it should as it's supposed to now, with any luck. But there we go. That's that, you lot. I'm going to put all my tools away. And I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy yourselves.